Pedro Pascal has exploded in popularity over the last few years, and it's easy to see why. The popular actor has shown off his acting jobs in both dramatic and comedic roles recently, so it's no surprise it's earned him big bucks. In today's video, we're going to be going over just how Pedro Pascal spends all of his cash and exactly how luxurious his day-to-day -day really is. Stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss this video. So what has he been up to lately that has seen him earn the A-list salary? Pedro Pascal has been a popular actor for quite some time now but it seems like recently his popularity has exploded. It seems like if something new is happening, Pedro Pascal is somehow attached to it. He got his big break when he landed a role in Game of Thrones. As prior to his appearance on the show, he was bouncing around, from TV show appearance to TV show appearance. He also starred in a great number of TV movies during his start in acting, which was around 1996 up until he got his role in the HBO mega show in 2014. But after his big break role in 2014, he has seen an exponential rise in popularity. Pedro played Javier Peña in the critically acclaimed Netflix series Narcos in 2017, and he quickly doubled down on his popularity and starred as Agent Whiskey in the Kinsman sequel, Kinsman, The Golden Circle. Shortly after his appearance in the Spy franchise, Pedro scored what might be his career-defining role as the titular character in the flagship Disney Plus TV series The Mandalorian. Pedro stunned audiences with one of his best performances, despite not being able to see his face for literally every single episode of the series, besides two of them, he has found a way to captivate the audience, acting as a father figure towards the galaxy's cutest green baby, and it seems like he will be acting as the flag bearer for the Star Wars franchise for years to come. Shortly after his success with Star Wars, Pedro found himself taking on all sorts of comic book and video game roles, including playing Maxwell Lord in Wonder Woman 1984, and soon enough he'll make his on-screen debut as Joel Miller, the protagonist in The Last of Us, the television adaptation of the incredibly popular apocalyptic video game that is set to premiere later this year on HBO Max. So now that we know how he's gotten most of his recent riches, what is he spending it all on? What's a regular day in the luxurious life of Pedro Pascal? Oh, to be rich. Most people automatically assume that once you become a big-time Hollywood actor, you just magically become rich. But that obviously is not the case for all Hollywood actors. It certainly is for Pedro Pascal, who has managed to rack up a net worth of over $10 million, which may not seem like a crazy amount right now, but think about it. Pascal went from TV movies to only recently starring in huge Disney and Hollywood productions. So how does he spend his $10 million? Well, to be honest, he is much smarter with his money than a great deal of other celebrities. It seems like most celebrities want to spend their money as fast as they can because they know that they will be getting more of it. Like some pro athletes will buy a collection of shoes or cars or animals or literally whatever they want because their contract is cemented. They have the exact information on how much and when they'll be getting paid. They also know exactly what they have to do in order to get that money. It's different for actors, and especially an actor like Pedro Pascal, who has seen a huge popularity spike at age 40, which is definitely not normal for Hollywood. But Pedro is likely past the point of worrying where his next paycheck comes from, as he has landed huge roles in multiple ongoing series. His money from The Mandalorian will likely be rolling in for quite some time, not to mention that he had a few cameo appearances in The Book of Boba Fett, indicating that Star Wars is attempting to make a shared TV universe with the assets it's brought to the screen. The upcoming Ashoka show, which will star Rosario Dawson as the former Jedi Knight turned rebel hero, will most likely also see a few glimpses of Pedro as Mando, which means that as long as the Star Wars franchise has fans willing to watch Mando content, which it always will, then Pedro will be raking in that nerd cash for years to come. But will that change his spending habits? What does he splurge on? Despite making money hand over fist, Pedro keeps his money close to his chest. He has an apartment in West California that he keeps in order to have a place to stay when he's filming in California, but he primarily spends his time in his house in New York City. Pedro is not known for having a collection of fancy cars or shoes or exotic pets or anything crazy like that. He just seems to be a guy who wants to live as comfortable of a life as he can. The one thing that he has admitted to spoiling is his sibling. He has admitted that he loves to spoil both his brother and his sister now that he has a great deal of disposable income and he literally buys them whatever they want. But hilariously enough, they are just like Pedro and don't ask for much. So Pedro does what he can to keep them looking and smelling fresh as he apparently has given a a great deal of fancy soaps and pajamas to both of his siblings, at least according to the New York Times article about Pedro. Now that Pedro has this career success and the disposable income to pretty much buy whatever he wants, will he soon become the kind of person who splurges his money on unnecessary items just because he can? I honestly doubt it. Pedro was always the kind of guy to keep his money close to his chest, as he spent a great deal of time not having too much money. Pedro was a struggling actor from the age of 25 to 35, and it took him a while to get this successful in the 
industry and to be making a comfortable living with acting. I don't think we'll see Pedro become that kind of celebrity because he will already be well into his 50s before he reaches the level of absurd wealth. And by that time, all I want to do is travel and take it slow, you know? Or maybe not. Maybe he'll be a live fast, die moderately young kind of old person. But does he need to get any new roles in order to obtain this cash? Or is he one of the lucky actors that will make millions of dollars just from a few long-time TV roles? How many more roles will he need to become filthy rich? Obviously, as we just explained, Pedro will have a pretty cemented role as the savior of the Star Wars franchise in The Mando. And he is starring in the new The Last of Us series. And he will be playing a major role and he will be playing a major role in the upcoming mock film about Nicolas Cage, titled The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. So what else does he need to do in order to keep the cash coming in? Honestly, he probably doesn't need anything else. Even though fans of The Last of Us games will probably know that Pedro's character, Joel Miller, most likely won't be around for too long. He has a pretty secure gig with Star Wars. Fans love Mando, and they love his adventures in the galaxy, with everyone's little green friend Grogu, and franchise staples like Luke Skywalker and Boba Fett, so it's unlikely that they would do anything to jeopardize the fan base's enjoyment of the shows by killing off the Mandalorian, which means that Pedro has some pretty secure work for probably the next 10 or 15 years, as long as he's still enjoying the work. And everyone knows that long-time TV stars make bank. The longer they work for a show, the more likely they will learn more responsibility and will most likely earn a director credit or an executive producer credit, which goes a long way in padding the bank account. Just ask longtime series regulars who have gone from struggling actors trying to make it big to uber-rich mega-celebrities. The best example would probably be Ellen Pompeo, who has played Meredith Grey on Grey's Anatomy for the entirety of their show's life. She went from series regular to director and executive producer and now makes more money in half a season than Pedro Pascal is worth. Crazy to think that Meredith Grey could straight up purchase The Mandalorian. Maybe she can hire him to track down the long-awaited series finale to Grey's. But that's another story for another video. That's all we have for you guys today on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.